Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be covering a very simple topic and we're going to be covering MSQs, commonly known as tune files. So we're going to cover loading, saving and pretty much just sharing files from your ECU. And this is applicable to both the Speedwino and uh, Megasquad ECUs. So I have a window of Tuner Studio open and I have a Speedwino project with an ECU connected to it. CCU is powered by the USB, but we'll get to that later. And I have a Speedino base file. So let me just go ahead and open up the VE map, commonly known as the, fu the fuel map, so you can see what it is. So this is essentially a base map. All right, so first thing we're going to cover is how to save a tune, right? So by default, the tunes, all you need to do is that the ECU has onboard memory. All you need to do is after making any change, say we just increase this cell to 52. It's gonna ask us to burn. It's a good practice to always burn after you make every single change. So I burn. So this tune currently is saved in the ECU's memory. So if I want to actually save this file, so if someone asks me for a copy of my file, I hit file. You can choose to save it if you already have a file here. So if I hit save, it will just overwrite this tune, wherever it's saved, or I can choose save as. For today, we're going to be covering the save as function. So I hit save as, and for today's video, I already went ahead and I created a folder on the desktop to make this easier. But by default, it's going to be saved in the project folder for this car and this issue. Whenever you start off with Speedino and Megascode, you have to create a project, and this project is where everything is saved for the tune. All right, so back to what I was saying. So I already created a, a folder just to make this easy for today's video, and I call this folder YouTube. All right, so if I hit save now, it's going to save, by default, it's going to save the tune as the date and time of the save action. So it'll be where today is the 30th of September 2021 and it's 1.21. So if I hit save, it's going to save exactly as that. You can choose to change your name, the name of the tune that is. And let's just call it Tune 1. So if someone asks you to send them a copy of your tune, you can go ahead, open up the project, power it up, power up the ECU and just save as save it as in whatever location you want your desktop makes it easy to access and give it a name and you hit save so this is essentially how you save a tune now if someone sends you a tune sends it via facebook via email or wherever and it goes to whatever and you download it and it goes to whatever folder in your on your pc here's how you load a tune to speedwino and or mega squid. So same process, you go file, load MSQ, and again, you go in the location where you have that new file saved. Okay, I put everything in there, YouTube, and then I'm going to load this too. This is a base map I created for a Honda D16 turbo engine with some 750cc injectors. So when I hit, I just click that, and then I hit open. So then it's gonna give me a prompt, would you like to send and burn configuration to controller. So it's basically asking your permission to overwrite what is saved on the ECU's memory. So you just hit yes. And then we automatically see the VE table changed. All right, so those changes change the VE table. So now we have a new tune saved on the ECU. All right, so again, you can save this if you choose, but this is how you save and load a new file, a new tune file to your Speedwino or Megasquid ECU. The last thing we're going to cover is if for whatever reason, maybe a couple of days later, you open up your project right here and you choose to, you wanna access the file that's on this ECU. So you're not sure where it is, you can go ahead, just write um, file and save as and save the copy of the tune, name it whatever you want. That's the easiest way. Or if you choose, since the tune, like we mentioned earlier, is always saved in the project, the project folder of your ECU, it's also always saved on the memory of the ECU. 
so we can go right there to access it we go into the project folder that we created so to do that we go we we'll hit our file manager we go right there documents then we go okay mouse i just fat fingered my mouse and we go into tuna studio projects and then we look for the project so this project name again we'll see here the project name is test project so i just go here open up that project i have many projects saved on this laptop since i use it for most of my tuning and then the tune the current tune that's saved in the memory of the ecu and the project is also right here so you can just right click and you can copy that and save it on your and copy and paste it to your desktop or we can use the previous method and just file, save as, and save a copy of your tune on your desktop. Hopefully this one is helpful. Catch you guys later.